You can read the uh, to the events, and you can read the drips and. Very, a lot of so ventilator yeah. settings. Mm -hmm. You can actually see the oh. event. So. Oh, yeah. And she can talk to the nurse in the room and run the codes, or run, you know, uh, give orders. Then any orders that she gives here go right into the electronic system so they become part of the hospital systems. Uh, yeah, you can see the drugs that are going. Oh, okay, that's a smart pump. Yeah. Like oh, how many drugs, the amount, the concentration. It's in the Laris pump, I can hear it then. Yeah, let me see the detail there. Okay, okay, the rate And if the nurse is like, right now the patient is so sedated, so I wouldn't talk to her, but if she's okay. The nurse can zoom into the... You can zoom in the camera to see the rate in the pump. I. Yes. We I'm do the that. nurse who's looking at the patient and looking do at the again. device. Do the pump. Go in close pump. on the pump. Do the pump. Here we go. See, this oh, is an immune and dream, and it's going so 0.5 milligrams per hour. And this CCU too, Mrs. Sharon. Wait, can you take a shot of that? Yeah, I take. Uh -huh. This is uh, this, that program it's running right now. It gives you the graphics, it gives you the settings of the ventilators, it gives you the pumps. Like in this case, she's an immuneron, 0.5 milligrams per minute. Mm -hmm. So that is you know, so important there. The nurses will click. The so, so what happens if we want to just continue the immuneron? Where does that happen? Who gives the order? To the bedside. The bedside. No, but our doctor here could give the order. Yes, could, right. The doctor there could give an order. To the stop doctor can. Based on what you're seeing on that, um, or initiate a treatment, initiate a drug. If, if it's like the patient goes into VTAC. Mm -hmm. Then it needs to, like right now they're calling me from Charlie A. Charlie A? Charlie, nice. thank you. So the nurse is taking care of that. The facility will, will answer the phone call and the nurses can speak to them in case they need it. If it's an emergency, like the patient needs, uh, they're in VTAG and he needs the lidocaine or a mineral, then we can initiate that right away. Because the, the, the physician is not at the bedside. Mm -hmm. it, it depends in certain hospitals. They do not have um, an immediate physician that at the bedside. So, you know, it will take time to call, but the time the physician answers back and gives the order, we can do it oh, immediately. By not only assessing with the rhythm, the patient's yeah, condition. Absolutely. Right. Yes, yes. If you put the medication, the medication, the patient is, so you see everything. The pink is the tabiotic. This is what the patient is. No, and then this is the PRN. Okay. So you can also feel patient. Like 24-7. Oh, yeah, we're 24-7. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it gives you um, a nice trend. For example, if you want to see, oh, how was my, my heart rate? Let's see, maybe it just drop down suddenly mm -hmm. or it continues. It gives you a trend mm -hmm. for the last few hours. The blood pressure is in green. Give you a little summary. Remember, we're monitoring 40 patients up to 40, 30 to 40. So you just want to so have a, a quick general information. So this is our main screen, which we have our vent settings. Mm -hmm. it, it, it highlights in red the value you, you that graph they are the known. The, the, the INO. This is only the INO.